Hello Taurus, welcome to a you and them love reading. In this reading we'll be looking at how you and your person are currently thinking about each other and what are the energies between you. Keep in mind that these readings are general so they cannot and will not resonate for every Taurus watching. So just take what resonates for you. And let's jump right into the reading for Taurus. What guidance, what messages do you have for Taurus regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know? What Taurus? All right, Taurus, let's see what we have. Current energies between you and this person, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Nice pair. On your side, we have the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. And on their side, we have the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So this is, they're waiting. Very simple energy there. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune events in motion, things happening um, as if by magic, things unfor uh, unfolding in a very fortunate way. Okay, so let's clarify that Wheel of Fortune. Let's start here. Spirit, tell me about this. Um, actually, let me grab a different deck. Spirit, tell me about this uh, Wheel of Fortune and all these other energies here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? What's going on here regarding this other person? Oh. Judgment. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Um, judgment with the Wheel of Fortune, to me, it's almost like someone has had a very uh, definitive lesson in their life or they have woken up to a realization of some sort that is so big that it changes everything moving forward. Sometimes this could also be that someone wants to do like have a do over and start all over do the cycle again here. But let's see. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. So why do we have the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay. The King of Swords. Oh, yeah, this is clarity and the King of Wands. And I feel like it's it's going to move someone um, or at least inspire someone to take some sort of action with the King of Wands. Three Kings here so far. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and then the Hangman with the Five of Wands. So this is interesting because I feel like someone here wants to take action but I think they're worried about conflict, drama, or are hesitating here with the Hangman. I think this is your person. The Three of Wands is here. Three of Wands is on your person's side. The Hangman is about waiting. This energy is all about waiting. So this is interesting because I feel this is someone that has this idea, this desire to set things in motion, but isn't doing it for whatever reason. Now, Taurus, you might be dealing with another Earth sign or a water sign here. It could even be a... Actually, all of the signs are here. King of Swords, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. So... I guess you could be dealing with um, anybody. <laughs> All right, so let's clarify this King of Pentacles. Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Fool and the Eight of Wands. So again, it's like this energy of wanting to take a risk, a leap of faith, take some sort of action towards a new beginning. This is interesting to me because the King of Pentacles is not one to take risks. But this person definitely is. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. And when I see the King of Swords there with the King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, I'm, I'm getting this energy of someone that's thinking, how do I do this? Am I going to be a King of Swords or a King of Wands? Because the King of Pentacles, they're not being. This is someone that is, is like they either want to really... Um, communicate here with the King of Swords, Eight of Wands, or just take some sort of risk. Okay, we'll see. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. 
Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Hmm. Effort, action. The Eight of Pentacles is very active energy. This is someone that's dedicated to working on something. Tell me about the Judgment card again. Why is Judgment here? Spirit, why is Judgment here? Page of Wands. So again, wanting to do something about this, but there's the Eight of Swords. So yes, I feel like this is, we're just getting confirmation that this is an individual and I'm saying this is someone because these are your mutual energies here. Both of your energies are here, Taurus, you and this other person. So take it as it resonates. But whoever's had this awakening, whoever's had this like deep understanding of the past or the way that they have dealt with situations in their past, the lessons they've learned, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whoever's the one that's going through that, they want to do something about it now in the present, but they're holding back. They're hesitating. Can I get some insight, please? For Taurus. For Taurus. What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit? For Taurus. Regarding this connection, what are the energies in this connection? True love. The connection between you is genuine and true. What are the energies here between Taurus and this other person? Happy ending. Wow. Okay. So this turnaround here with the Wheel of Fortune, this fool energy, this could lead to something wonderful. Tell me more. What are the energies here between Taurus and this other person? And past life. So I think, oh wow, coming together at the bottom of the deck as well. So I think Taurus, this is probably someone that you've already had some sort of history with in this lifetime or in previous lifetime. And there's an opportunity here to have a happy ending with this person. I think that you are someone's wish, someone's desire with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. But again, there's those energies that came up regarding like fear and holding back. So I don't know what this fear is about. It's going to be different for all of you because this is, you know, you're not all dealing with the exact same thing. But I could tell you that it's keeping someone from doing what they desperately want to do. So let's look at your energies um, between you and this person. Taurus, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about this page of wands. Now you have the page of wands and the five of wands. So I feel like this drama conflict that your person was thinking about has to do with you. Maybe there was an argument in the past. Maybe things ended, you know, in a rough way or ended in an argument where you said things you didn't mean. Or there's some sort of um, situation here that um, acts as an obstacle. Tell me about this page of wands. The hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the page of wands, please. Five of pentacles. Justice is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Libra energy there. But what I'm seeing here is someone that's like out in the cold alone, thinking, feeling a bit abandoned, seeking answers. I think if this person, this page of wands could be that this person makes some sort of a move or takes initi initiative when it comes to you. And maybe you're gonna be like thinking about it. Maybe this comes out of the blue. Maybe this is someone that's telling you, hey, I wanna make things right with justice. Okay, there's six of swords and the page of cups. I'm sorry I left, or I'm sorry that things happened the way they did. Yeah, there's the Five of Cups. There's regrets here. Someone could have walked away from this connection in the past. I feel like you're thinking about this, Taurus. Can I get one more for the Page of Wands? Yeah, Page of Cups. So when this comes towards you, whoever, when this person eventually decides they're going to take some sort of action, which I think is a message with the Page of Cups, Page of Wands, 
Eight of Wands is here. Um, when they do decide to do this, I feel like you're going to have to do a little bit of thinking or it might just come out of the blue because I feel like things were very quiet with the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Wands. What's this Five of Wands about? Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you were hurt by what happened and are very guarded when it comes to this person. Um, you're not sure if you're interested in this person or what they have to say and or um, something like that. Maybe whatever happened between you is something that you still are struggling with. I think this person knows it because they're anticipating it. Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify them both because they're both very similar energies. The Three of Wands is almost like waiting for a result, an outcome, and the Seven of Pentacles is being worried about an outcome. You plant seeds, you you take, you know, you you hope for the best outcome, but you're not sure with the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. It could be that this person sends a message and they're like waiting for your reply and it, aren't sure what reply they'll get. Why is the Three of Wands here with the Seven of Pentacles? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune again. Three of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. Well, when I see the Wheel of Fortune, I think maybe this is someone waiting for the right time. There's the Magician, okay. Talk about the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. One more, please, Spirit. These energies here regarding this person. Wow, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Look at all that major arcana. Major shifts in energy. Yeah, I feel like this is someone waiting for the right time to make their move. To make this happen. To take that action with the Magician and the Chariot. Spirit, can I get some more insight, please, on the energies here between Taurus and this other person? Tell me about Taurus. Remember, Taurus, you can flip these energies if they resonate more for you because they will not resonate with all of you in exactly the same way. Tell me about the energy for Taurus, please. Please wait for me. I feel like you've been waiting for this person or I think you've been waiting. I was going to say something else, but no, I think you've been waiting for a sign or something from this person. Even if things ended badly, I'm also getting that some of you might be dealing with someone who kind of kept you waiting and nothing came of it. And, you know, it's, it's like you don't have all of the answers when it comes to, like, what they're going to do, where this is going. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with. What do we need to know about them? You make me happy. I feel like, yeah, this is your, um, your happy ending, or at least it feels that way. I feel that this connection with true love is real has potential but I think there's an obstacle here with that five of wands and I think it's the past whatever happened in the past is an obstacle tell me um, more about Taurus and their energy please tell me more about Taurus please okay mature man this is like a older masculine energy and there's main female there could be um, an age difference here or uh, a difference in maturity. Tell me about the person Taurus is dealing with. It could also be a parental figure that's relevant. Distant horizons. So distant horizon, distant. If I could speak, distant horizons is almost like um, dreams becoming reality, um, fantasies, imagination, um, achieving your goals <clears throat> and dreams. And bottom of the deck is gift. So yeah, I feel like this person, you are their wish. That's that nine of cups energy. You are like the, the this like wish, you would be their wish granted if all of this were to work out. Let me get one more. What do I want? I want this one. 
Sorry, can I get some more insight, please? What what else do we need to know about this individual or this connection for Taurus? What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? Gemini, that's like the lovers. What do we need to know? This person could have Gemini in their chart, but Gemini is also the lovers, major arcana and creative, artistic, and clever. So this is someone that's really thinking things through. I think they're waiting for like their the best way that they could like approach the situation, the best way that they can um, communicate with you or make this happen because make no mistake, this is someone that is actively thinking of doing something. Like that's their goal. You know, with the Eight of Wands, the Fool, they might even be thinking about make, taking a risk here. But this is like, movement action eight of pentacles is here but i think they're waiting they're waiting on you is what i'm thinking um i also feel like they're waiting because of the past they're hesitating because of the past and waiting on you at the same time you know i'm waiting for the right time there's a waiting energy here despite the fact that they want to make a move now so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe.